Hello everyone, this is Tiv the Sunny Panda and welcome back to my playthrough of This is the Police. We had a disastrous last day where we took major L's. Um, hopefully, it doesn't repeat now because that would be even more disastrous. It was our worst day last time as the police chief. Uh, I mean, we lost officers, we lost civilians. It was, it was horrible. I don't even know how to put it. Also, the last two videos, the last two episodes have been of a bit low quality. It was because uh, my hard drive ran into issues while I was uh, recording and a bit of it was corrupted. I had to I had to do some shenanigans to get it back. Otherwise, all my progress would be lost. So I apologize for that. It should be fine from this episode onwards. So we are on July 25th. Um, this is day 11. Rogers is responsible for Freeburg Police Department breakdown. So the mayor is getting some heat. Um, I just hope that we don't get any heat for the three officers that we had who died. Two officers and one civilian. Uh, small drug dealers invade Freeburg is what the Freeburg Tribune reports. And the fact reports Freeburg to host semi-finals of Youth Hockey League? Question mark. Let's go to work for today. Um, we are going to be pulled up. I'm sure. We had one civilian die. We had two cops die. That can't happen. Uh, my brother went hiking in the woods and disappeared. I want to help with the search. Can I have the day off today? Burke Jr. Uh, no. Leave it Leave it to the professionals. Uh, you are not a professional cop who, who I would trust to search a missing person. Leave it to the pro professionals. Uh, let's go. Let's just get on with the day. I am disappointed with what happened previously. I'm... I'm yeah. I, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of Freeburg PD. We are cutting the depart department's budget. You lose one job slot. Removing an occupied slot will automatically fire an employee. I think we didn't even have... Um, we didn't even have... Uh, we, ha we lost two officers yesterday. So we had... We didn't need to fire anyone just because uh, we lost two officers, which is sad. But all right, let's hire uh, Justin Flores for shift B because we had major losses in shift B. Uh, City Hall request. City Hall cannot meet your request at this time. Sure. Uh, I would understand too. If you have, if you have p citizens dying, if you have police officers dying, progress. the department isn't going to get as much funding as it requires because it's on a down. It's, we are on a downward slope. Yesterday was the worst day. Um, in office. Okay, trespassing at a farm. Bill Buckler reports that 200 unidentified men snuck onto his farm and set fire to the barn. As the call came in, the two criminals were attempting to gain entry into the house. Alright, Officer Stowall and Officer Vandal. I think two officers are enough with their professionalism. They are enough, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to take any call lightly. Yesterday, Officer B paid the price for our decision to think that that call was a false alarm and he missed somehow with his gun and the um, perp the perp actually managed to kill him with the saw blade so yeah uh, trespassing in the farm there are no signs of the criminals near the house the front door has been broken down the shadows lurk inside go to the back door come out with your hands up go through the front f entrance go to the back door Good job, Stovall and Vandal. Uh, we caught the offender, we caught, and the uh, officers were unharmed. Theft at the Everyday Mall. A drug addict attempted to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. When he was caught, he began to throw a fit. Officer Robbins, Officer Grant, off you go. A Birch, Birch Jr. is also our, um, our hero, right? We need to keep him alive until a certain day. Nothing, not keep him alive. We need to make sure that nothing happens to him until a certain specific day, which is fine because we're not sending him to any dangerous missions anyways. We, we, we aren't trust. Just as I say that, Jack, one of our new guys tried to, holy shit. So they had an internal fallout. Um, one of our new guys tried to rape our accountant. We locked him up in a hotel room, but he's threatening to hand the whole organization over to the police. I think it's time he talks to a police officer face to face. But Jr. is going to be our man for the hard talk. He's, he's uh, offender caught, officers unharmed. Good job, officers Robinson Grant. Get back. But Jr. is going to go there, 
talk to the rogue mafia employee uh give him a dressing down a bit of fair of law uh, we have something going down today at city center at 1839 we wouldn't want any policeman crashing the party i think 1000 should be enough for such a request all right um we will decide we need to be efficient uh, our our ratings our approvals are dropping down city hall is angry with us if we see that there would probably uh, be a loss of life we are going to respond to that okay assault with a deadly weapon in a parking lot a woman reports that she saw a skinhead attacking a dark skinned valet uh striking him around his legs yelling i'll beat you till you're dead freak no shit i'm going to do it she believes she saw a pistol sticking out of the skinhead's belt all right officer gibbons take lead robins grant samadi all four of you off you go i'm sending out all four because i'm not taking any chances i took chances yesterday we suffered big losses so at least for now until i go back to being career free it's still fresh the, the day you lose two officers you're going to be extra vigilant extra strict extra careful for the following few days right Uh, they need more mm I don't think so I'm just going to refuse um, assault with a deadly offender caught officers and harmed civilians and harmed good job I I had faith in these four so that's why I didn't send out more um yeah this is the city center thing that uh, is from the mafia a man in an expensive suit is lying in the street it seems he's been shot but no one saw who shot him or from where the man is still alive and an ambulance is on the way so we may end up losing a civilian but there's four slots for officers and i can't send these two out alone i don't want to risk my officers dying we already had an officer die yesterday while attending a mafia call because i didn't want to lose a civilian but i'm i'm i don't think we are going to lose the civilian here he may he may just be safe so we are going to ignore it for the mafia um offender escaped no come on i thought i thought the civilian would okay so that's another that's another um uh, loss for us because the more civilians die uh the bigger hit our department takes um attempted robbery in the suburb 8 year old kevin is at ho- uh, is at home alone hiding under the bed unknown persons are gathered outside the apartment door home alone uh, stovall and vandal off you go i don't want civilians dying on my watch but sometimes i ca- i have to i have to make a call do i send my officers in where they may die or do i just take a loss of civilian um back then i had the option of tending- sending two officers to a four officer call and i just didn't think it was worthwhile if i had more officers i would probably send them all right Rob- robins can go out here as well um i don't know why they want backup but if there are like multiple people um uh, trying to break and enter a house i don't mind sending robins but this day is already better than the previous day no officers has died have died and uh, we lost one civilian there was one civilian casualty but it's all right uh, stovall vandal robins good job they have caught the offender and none of them are harmed so we are going to end our day day 11 which um, which went pretty pretty decent compared to last day oh my good lord he's just crowd he's just he's back is my new him. role as corrupt <laughs> official I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. same picture it was 30 years ago tradition's got to be honored and to stay faithful to the tradition you've got to respect the standard rituals when you're about to roll out of the club you need to take a deep breath and count to 100 if your stomach doesn't do a backflip you should be good to make it home this time i only got up to 60 i was interrupted 
Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, <laughs> and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. Sounds like a badass He's to me. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius. And more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Well, you know my name. I'm flattered, although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a <laughs> shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. He's just going to scribble the number on my arm? This city of yours moves so fast. Holy shit. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Mm. All right. So that was an eventful day, I would say, with just one death. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. And we got introduced to Vicky Svarka uh, while we were enjoying some off time. And he sounds like he sounds like quite the person. Um, sounds like a new star, a new 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 mobster trying to make his own name, and he already seems to have made quite a name. All right, so we are going to stop it there for now. Uh, before we get into the next day, which I feel is going to be a bit long. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. But thank you for tuning in. Leave me a comment with uh, what you thought of this this episode. If you want me to improve on something, I would love to hear your feedback. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.